All right, so we're headed over to Conrad's house. And Conrad's a buddy of mine from the South Florida Classic Mustang Club. He says he's got a Model A in his house. He's got a Fox body and some type of vintage tractor. He has some classic Mustangs, but I believe they're at the shop. So uh, let's go meet Conrad. He has an interesting story I think you guys would all like. And let's go check out uh, his stable. Hi, I'm Conrad, and this is my 1931 Ford Model A Roadster. Why a Model A? Well, you know, I've always been a fan of Fords uh, all my life, in particular the Mustangs. I can't get enough of uh, Mustangs, especially the early ones. Um, and, you know, th this YouTube thing has picked up so much, and I, I started watching the different channels, and I noticed that uh, a lot of them are now looking at the older pre-war vehicles that I never thought I was going to be able to uh, be able to own one, um, in particular the Ford Model A. Uh, with such a big following and a, and a fantastic heritage. Um, I, I said, you know, let me look into this before I, I, I make a purchase. And I, I said, I want to be able to work on it. So I can't work on my, some of my other cars. I, I, I'm not that qualified of a mechanic to do that, but I figured I might be able to do something with the Model A. So the first thing I did was I picked up a 1952 um, Ford tractor. So this is the 52 gotcha. Ford, Ford 8N. You remember that I, that I spoke about that when we got it, it wasn't running? Yeah. We had to open it right here. So the way Ford made these tractors, he wanted to make sure that any, any, any farmer was okay. able to, with a handful of tools, make repairs right in the field if need be. Wow. So the way this is, the, the front part of it is the motor. The same motor, for the most part, is in the right. Model A. So that's the front part. The center is your transmission, transmission, uh -huh. and then you have your diff. Differential in the, in the back. In the back. You put it in the ignition, and you're just gonna turn it. It's not gonna actually start the tractor. This, it's very it's similar to what's there. Yeah. So this is, a, a, a gravity-fed filter right. for the fuel system. You always have to shut it off when you're not using it, and then what I usually like to do is turn it two full turns, okay. get the fuel going, and then you press. Wow. Tell me how many cars start that quickly. Why a tractor? It has the same or a very similar engine as the Model A. We got it put back together and then we took it outside and tried to get it started. It took about an hour uh, because we didn't understand the dynamics of how you get it started. Each of these things have like a handshake, I call it, that you have to get just right. You have to get the, the, the ignition retarded and stuff like that. And so we were able to get it started and oh man, it was great. It was, it was close to Halloween. So I have a little open trailer. We put hay in the back of the trailer nice. to put lights on it, and we gave the kids hay rides for Halloween. I was the king of the block, you know? And that's when I said, you know, now it's time to go for a search. And I searched for a while, nationwide, um, and I actually I found it again up north. An uh, elderly couple, um, they're retired now, they're in their mid to late 80s. And how was the condition of Old Blue? It's, it's, it's pretty much exactly the way you see it. It, you know, it's a running car. It does, you know, leak somewhat, but if the, if it doesn't leak, it's not really running. It means that it has no oil in it if it Correct. doesn't leak. Um, I had it detailed a little bit, the paint. Um, I Detail Miami is a, a good friend, and he's done s several of my cars. And he did the best he could with... It looks great. You know, I wanted it to look this way because I don't, I don't, I don't need a, a show car. If, right. You know, I want to be able to ride in it. And again, it's about if it breaks down, I want to fix it. The paint is beautiful. Is there is that an original color? This that? is the, this is an original color. Or all Ford Model A's had the fenders uh, in black. The wheels, um, I'm told, match the pinstripe. You have a New York accent. <laughs> are you? You think? <laughs> are you from New York or what? <laughs> I'm from New York. Uh, originally from Puerto Rico. I was born in Puerto Rico. We we moved at an early age to to Brooklyn. Um, New York. I spent my whole life there for the most part until I retired. You know, public servant. The the biggest club that I uh, that I was a part of in the, just before I left, it's called Legendary Muscle Cars, and it's just a group of guys. There's no dues. There's no meetings. It's just a group of guys, close. I would say 150, if not more, 
in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, that love muscle cars. And um, I had, at the time, I had a 68 Le Mans convertible. It was just great just talking about cars and sitting next to your car. But a lot of people don't understand the culture of people that have classic cars and how, how, how we are with, with each other. I, 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 I was sick a couple of years ago and between my AACA South Florida family, my South Florida Classic Mustang family, and my legendary muscle car family in New York, they took care of my needs. They helped my wife through a very, very difficult time. Classic car people are amongst the best people in the world. How do you feel when you're driving your, your Classic? You are a car guy. You know that when you get into your garage and you get near one of these cars, the scent, this is a particular scent. And I guess it's all the materials that are used in it and how they've aged. That just takes me back to, you know, a, my childhood days when my, my father and I uh, would go to the junkyards. But, you know, New York, I don't know if here in Florida they, they call it that, but we mm -hmm. would call it the junkyard or salvage yards. Right. And we never had a new car. You know, he would just buy a car and we fixed it. And we, he would send me to, we would go to the junkyard and he'd say, you know, I want you to go in there and take the bucket seats out of that coronet because we want to put it in the road runner because it has a bench seat. Right. And okay, dad, and he'd give me the tools and I, I'd do it. And then he'd say, if you want to use the car, you got to put the seats in and take it out. So he would leave me, and you know, I thought he was being mean, but now I know that he was just building that, that sense of accomplishment in right. me and, 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 and the love for classic cars. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these latches, but they have springs on them. And you lift very gently and set it, set it back. Wow. So what kind of engine is this? It, I think it's a two, I believe it's a 201, four cylinder, with an updraft carburetor. This thing looks beautiful. So it's pretty stock. Um, I believe they, they, they told me that they changed the water pump uh, for something more reliable. Uh, most of these pumps leaked. So simple, huh? That's what it was. Wow. You see this? Remember this, uh, when, when, when we get a chance to see the Ford tractor, uh -huh. you're going to see that again. Um, that mm -hmm. is, is just gravity fed carburetor. Oh, wow. And it works. You know, nowadays your carburetor, you got to do this, you got to do that. But these, especially these Zeniths, I rebuilt two for, for the tractor. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm very familiar with them and they're very simple. Um, you set them and you can pretty much forget them. Uh, 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 huh. for, for, That's for awesome. So you were saying, so the, the bumpers are black. The bumpers are always black on Model A's. Look at these headlamps. Wow. Everything works? Everything works. Everything works. Wow. So they, the bumpers and fenders were always black. The color of the cars changed, the, the body itself. Right. The pinstripe was always the color of the rims. Yeah. That's interesting. And no, no windows at all. Wow. Simple handle. So it's just basic, but just so gorgeous. Very simple. Three speed? It's three speed and, and, and reverse. So up here, you have your horn. That's awesome. We got horn. I love it. Speedometer. Look at the gas gauge, the fuel gauge. Isn't it great? That's awesome. All right. This is your lights, your headlights. And so high if you beam. turn them like that, oh, yeah. how funny. This is your low beam. This is high beam. Wow. And then, you know, we can start it. Uh, there's what's known as the handshake. Uh, it's pretty much the same for all Model A's. It's the same for all the Model A's, but uh -huh. each of them have their little quirks. So some may require a little bit more retarding of the uh, uh, of the spark, uh -huh. and, and where others need a little bit more fuel. But um, this this one starts pretty much always. And oh. this top, so the top comes up too, huh? Yep. Super simple. So I'll ask you to pull this out. There's a little okay. Pull back on it towards let me, you. Let me see how. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then up, you see, you just disengaged it. it. And then if you help me, we'll lift it. You 
It should go right into place. And then we lock it from the inside. What? But that's... it's a beautiful day. I don't know if we want to keep the top up. No, yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to see how this thing worked. Wow. And the windshield wiper works off of a vacuum. That's awesome. And what are these little glass windows here on the sides? These... Is that for wind? It's it, it was for wind. Um, if you see this one, it's cracked. When I uh -huh. when I got it, I made the mistake of tightening it, <laughs> and I lowered the top with oh. it in the position, and I and actually hit it. Oh. That one is not as bad as this one was, and so sure. I think whoever installed them uh -huh. um, put them up too high. They didn't care because gotcha. they never put the top up. Uh, I didn't really care too much because I bought what uh, new ones with the etch they have etch flower oh, flower wow. design and leaf design so oh. i haven't had a chance to put them in place gotcha um, gotcha so it didn't bother me too much and what about this uh is there like a a seat so for this the back? this it came with with two options one was a little like a trunk area mm -hmm. and then th this one came with the rumble seat or as uh mo widely known as the mother-in-law seat <laughs> <laughs> You see how you climb into it? How Yeah, how, how so do you climb into this thing? You step here, and then I won't try because... Right. So you... Oh. And then you have another step here, and then you step right onto the, the seat itself. No way. That is so cool. Yeah. Look at this leather. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it nice? It's absolutely gorgeous. I want to... I wish I could fit in this thing. But... This just doesn't necessarily match the interior because a lot of times the interior is made out of fabric. Right. Um, uh, I forgot the, the exact name of it, but th this, since it got wet a lot. They they made it like that. Awesome. Not that this car was going to stay dry anyway. Right, but. right. And then you got the spare tire. You got your spare, and you needed them because these tires went flat a lot. The roads, it was non-existent roads at the time. It was just starting up. That's awesome. This is great. It's absolutely gorgeous. You All see right. the fitment? I that's, didn't close your door too well. So no, 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 uh, that's factory. Oh, yeah? That's how <laughs> As it is? As they say, that's factory, yeah. You you might be able to get it better, a little bit better, but gotcha. not, not much better. Gotcha. And so, all right, so I see I see off to my left the Fox body. Talk to me about this thing. So you met Old Blue. This, yeah. is, this is Faith. Okay. Uh, there's a story behind Faith like everything else in my life. I mentioned earlier that I was I, I, I was sick. I got sick, um, uh -huh. and right. I wasn't able to walk for more than a year. I had to learn how to walk and how to drive and everything else. I miss going to car shows like you wouldn't believe. I mean, you remember the time you guys came and did a little car show for me here, Correct. the Mustang Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, I missed it, and I, I I said to my wife, "Would you be comfortable in driving one of the cars and taking me to a car show?" And she really wasn't comfortable with that. You know, she's the, the older cars, you know, scare her a little bit. Not 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 as much now as it used to. Uh, so I said, what about if I get something a little bit more modern, on a modern classic, if you will, uh, automatic? And, and she said, okay, let, you know, I, I, I'll try that. And since being a Mustang Ford right. guy, I figured the Fox body was the one to look for. This is a 16,500-mile original Fox Body GT convertible. Wow. It's never been painted. What? It has the original interior, numbers matching. It had the original tires. I took them off, of course. Right. And I put these on. But wow. this is the way it came from the factory. Yeah, I remember when you got this. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was original paint, though. Oh, yeah, no, it's original wow. paint. What, what, what? What when it came, it had you know your your regular swirl marks from being washed and right, you know, right. All that throughout the years, and even car covers don't do it justice, you know. So I got in touch with ID Tail Miami, and now you know right. Nelson did the right thing by me. He came out here, he took it, and yeah, I remember there's that's, there's actually a video online of him shaking his head because it was one stage, and he's like, "On oh, right. stage paint is really hard." Right, and, right. But look at what he did, yeah, and it he, looks amazing. Ceramic coated it afterwards, and this is we're going on. Four years, I think. Wow. Can I go Absolutely. open the door, see what this thing looks like? Wow. You know, I'd seen you at those car shows with your wife, and, but I never looked inside. This thing is original radio. Original radio. 
with the EQ. <laughs> That's awesome. It works. She uh, she takes this to 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 work sometimes. Not to work because, oh. I, but I would I would go a little crazy. But she uh, takes it when she goes to friends' parties and oh yeah, and they love it. You know, she pulls up in this. It's gorgeous. Wait a second. This thing is so cool. <laughs> what? This is my work shop uh man cave but better known to everybody all my friends as area 51 <laughs> skunk works i love it we work yeah. on everything here and if if we get a chance that we go inside i'm currently working on animatronics for my halloween hunt we're going to have a halloween hunt here for the kids oh, with wow. tents and and you know if you want your treat you got to go inside for the trick. Nice. So I've been working on a lot of Halloween stuff. You'll see it's a little bit That's of a mess. Awesome. Top secret items in there you can't talk about. So all your viewers have to keep it a secret. Okay. okay. All right. I'll, <laughs> you guys heard them. <laughs> Nobody say anything. Uh-oh. Uh Look at this guy. <laughs> you always have some hobbies. Yeah, I got You're, a lot of you, hobbies. You were saying you do golf carts too, right? Yes, we uh, take old golf carts and we restore them completely we we gut them frame off complete frame off restorations we have some friends that you know want to go faster you know some of these carts for the most part when they first came out the ones that we restore they mm -hmm. went 13 14 miles an hour uh-huh and a lot of these guys they want to go a little faster you know how it's car yeah, 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 yeah. and anybody any car guy that has uh, a golf cart wants to go faster and we can we can arrange that i won't get into how fast they right. go because again, nice nice but can I make a phone call real quick? Actually, you can. She works. No, she doesn't. She does. Listen to this. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear it. That is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Is that from New York? That was from New York. Is it Yes. It says New York. That's from New York. That's awesome. I love this. What this is... is... Oh, no way. The, tr the, the bus. The bus. You, you remember this? Yes, of course. Throw the, the coins in there. Right. So... I remember going to high school and having wow. to ride the B11 was the bus that I took from Sunset Park, Brooklyn to New Utrecht High School, the Welcome Back Cotta. No high way. Yeah. Well, so I would sit next to the driver because I was still half asleep. And every time that somebody put the coins in and it ran. So I bought this and it didn't have any inner workings. And that was seven years ago. And I found the inner workings from two separate machines and I was able to oh, restore wow. it. And now you, you can hear it. Oh, I remember that. Remember that sound? Oh my gosh. And then it drops. Let me get some. All right, let's put some coins in. And then we'll press them down so they get counted. That's awesome. They're being counted now. Hear them? Conrad, you're not OCD, right? Just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. These are all your tools, I guess, huh? Yeah, yes. Man, almighty, oh you are. You're like, uh, you know, Rob Pons from uh, South Florida Classic Mustang. Yes, He's the same thing, man. His garage is just like this. And it drives me crazy when there's a mess. Right now, this mess of all this Halloween stuff is driving me nuts. Look at my workbench. It's it's all the animatronic is, stuff. Yeah. And what do we got up here? Oh, that is man. the storage area. But we have where what my little alien, you know, this is his home. Oh, how funny. Now, is that a, that sign from New York That's also? That's a bus sign from New York. How funny. There's a handshake to this as well. And it starts by, you put the key in. Again, just it's very similar to uh -huh. the tractor. You turn it on. You come down here and you turn on your fuel. Your okay. fuel's on. If it's been off and it's cold, you take the carburetor and you turn it about three quarters of a turn got that so far yes sir a lot of stuff and to make sure that you're in neutral same and as the tractor right you're gonna retard your spark okay all the way and this is the accelerator as well as this you see the pedal down here which uh -huh. is the accelerator pedal you're gonna move this slowly until she starts going down like that oh my gosh that's the handshake okay Let's see. And here we go with the starter. I forgot to pull the choke. That is awesome. I, I forgot to mention you had to pull the choke out a little ah. bit.
<laughs> Get out. This is amazing. Wow. So you have to... How are the brakes on this thing? I'm nervous. They're mechanical, so they're always great. Oh, yeah? Yep. So, uh... That's one. Let's see this. I want to see that double flex thing. So what you got to do is... One, neutral, release, two, oh. go into second. Gotcha. Try not to grind the gear. So how are you feeling right now, man? I love it. I love it. I haven't had this out in a while. I'm glad you came by today. I, I'm, I'm really glad to be here. This is amazing. I've never been in a Model A, so... Really? Never. This is awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, Conrad, for giving us a ride and showing us your all your cool cars. My pleasure. If you guys like this channel, please subscribe, share, and comment. I appreciate it. Till next time. Take care.